Welcome to Code Spotify. Today we are going to see what is Kafka, Kafka Broker, and Zookeeper. Let's get started. Kafka is a real time stream processing platform that is used to distribute huge volume of real time data across multiple servers parallelly. The right side graphical representation shown there are four external data sources beside Kafka Elasticsearch, RustyDB, Apache Spark, Apache Flink. Here, the Kafka can receive the data from data source and distribute the data via consumer to the external source parallelly. Kafka can analyze historical and real-time data. So it means Kafka have default seven days retention period. During this period, you can analyze the data. So after the seven days, the data will be destroyed or cleaned or wiped out. Similarly, for real-time data, we can visualize the data or analyze the data through any external data sources like Elasticsearch, Kibana, RustyDB, etc. So that will be quite useful. Kafka is an open source and completely introduced by LinkedIn. Kafka is useful to stream live data like football score, uh, polling, net monetary network traffic, etc. Let's figure out how the Kafka architecture works. There are most common technical terms like producer, topic, consumer, zookeeper, or Kafka broker, partitions, etc. Let's go step by step. So let's start with the producer. Producer is the source. So basically, we produce the events one by one in the orderly manner from the source or producer. Okay. Once we generate it from here, the messages will be sorry, the messages will be forwarded to consumer so they cannot be able to forward it just directly they need some intermediate because producer don't know about consumer and consumer don't know about the producer okay so in between we are going to have something called a topic okay so we create a topic consider like we are creating a folder okay so we are creating a topic here okay so once i create a topic i can able to forward the data to the topic okay so once I forward the message to the topic, the message will look for the consumer. But they really don't know which consumer or to, to whom he wanted to send. Okay. So he needs some guidance. So the topic will receive guidance from Zookeeper. So Zookeeper is act like a manager. So what Zookeeper will do? The Zookeeper will look for the available topic okay and it will forward the message to the consumer why because zookeeper will maintain something called offset so offset is nothing but a kind of indexing okay consider like i have a message like a b c d e in the partition one okay so the indexing will be like a zero one two three like those index will be there in the zookeeper it's nothing but offset here okay those details will be in the zookeeper okay so in the latest kafka they will follow a separate topic called consumer offset so zookeeper will maintain a separate topic called consumer of offset that is a default topic so in that topic this offset will be maintained okay so uh, the consumer will be look for the message okay so during that time Zookeeper so look, look, I mean, like a look for available topic. Okay. So, based on the availability, the zookeeper will forward the message to the consumer. You can ask me why zookeeper wanted to look for availability. So, for example, you can here you can see uh, Kafka broker. Okay. So, there are three Kafka broker Kafka 0, Kafka 1, Kafka 2. You can achieve everything with the Kafka 0 alone. You don't need multiple Kafka, but you can achieve it but you have a problem in case if the kafka having a failure you don't have anybody for backup okay you will lose all the data okay so you cannot able to receive the data okay maybe you have offset offset can help you to retain the data because and you you are having a data in queue so during a failure of sometimes or 5 minutes 10 minutes yeah you don't lose the data because the data will be in the queue but if there is a long failure or there is a huge delay you cannot able to receive the data okay 
means like the containers will be unknown or idea something like that during this case you need some other person to act as a replica okay so it means like i need a copy of the original source so here i can see i am going to have a two different copies like broker one broker two okay so these are two different copies so now what i will do i already have a partitions for the same topic i will create a replicas but the thing is these replicas and partitions will be distributed across multiple kafka brokers okay here you can see partition 1 there are messages a b c d e a b it, it means a you can call that as a record or you can call that as a message packet whatever it is okay so i have a uh, number of rows or uh, you can call as a rows also okay so there are number of messages here okay but the replica for that message okay that you can locate at it at the second row it means like in the broker one okay in the broker one you have a replica for partition one okay so it means you can see in the second I mean like second broker it means like broker one you can see partition one replica one so for the partition one i have replica one for the uh, broker zero and which is available to the broker one as well it means if the broker zero is down zookeeper will look for the availability and he will check for the offset the offset will be available in the broker one based on the offset it will extract the data from the uh, broker one and it will forward the data to the consumer okay so these things can be achieved parallelly okay so the same thing will continues for the all the partitions so here is like the purpose of kafka broker is you can have a replicas okay so in case of any failure you can have a replicas to have a handshake okay by that you can extract the data at any time based on the availability that is why we need a zookeeper so zookeeper will look for the availability based on the availability they will forward the data to the consumer okay they cannot able to forward just like that okay zookeeper already have the offset details based on the offset details they will they will forward the data in sequential order to the consumer okay since we have a multiple brokers and multiple partitions consumer can able to distribute the similar set of data parallelly to multiple external resources here you can see the parallel distribution case there are multiple external uh, resources i have something called elasi search prestodb apache spark apache flink so here i can able to distribute the data parallelly across all these external sources okay so this is how kafka architecture works thank you